So there's actually only one Nigerian now that can actually speak to us and we will listen to him without hesitation. And that person is H.E. Peter Obi. Now, he talks about what he said in this video. It's about Japa for nurses, for drivers. In fact, any skillful activity that you have that is productive to you. Now, if it's not paying you well in the country, this is the advice H.E. Peter Obi actually plays on ground for you as your next means of decision. Anyway, here's the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Credit belongs to at Ken TV. We do not own right. My Lord, when you go to any hospital abroad, it is the law of God that is not allowed to do. For the owner of the person, he said to the person that is very critical. And it's important that you know the world will be shortage of nurses very soon. The world is looking for at least today 20 to 30 million nurses so you are in a, in a very good area of endeavor the world needs you and it's critical it's an area Nigeria should invest you are doing the right thing today Nigerian nurses are thought the most wanted nurses globally that is why I'm using this opportunity to tell Nigeria the, the National Nursing Council yes, that their recent student condition must be reversed immediately. Yes. world, you cannot receive people of seeking global employment. You can't do that. I have a driver. I have a driver, a driver whom I know very well in Lagos, who used to work with me then. And then I lived in the UK and Europe, and they said they're looking for drivers. I came back and said, driver, they are looking for drivers in London. What I pay you here for one year is what they will pay you for two weeks. So, the earlier you go there, the better. Because I will not be able. Today, you need somewhere in Europe and driving truck. And it's living well. That's what we should encourage people. Not to mistreat them. We shouldn't. These students, my lord, are suffering through their parents to pay their fees to go to school. Yeah. And when they finish that, Nigeria cannot receive them where they work. Yeah. They pay their school fees. Yeah. Rather, what I will urge the council to do is to go to government to invest more in the education of nurses and midwives. Yeah. They should do, support the schools. They should come here and invest money. That's what the council should be doing. To yeah. so bring government to come here and complete all these buildings. Yeah. Not to the city where you're going to go to work. Yeah. That's not their job. Yes. So I thank you for the opportunity, my Lord. And you came here to support what you're doing now not as a government but in my own little way of believing that this is the way to go uh the zero here <laughs> i'm a, my other brother please work here he's in canada of his excellency my my dear staff my dear students praise be to jesus Amen. on behalf of the Catholic diocese of Indewi, my dear, the staff here and you, my dear uh, students, I'd like to thank you in a very special way, His Excellency Chief Sir Peter Obi. As he did say, one of the things and the best thing that happened to me in life that I was uh, 
a chaplain when he was the governor at the government house for eight years. Every day you encounter him, you have something new to learn. He is always a master, difficult to decode. But each time, chase him before you became a governor. Before, as a businessman in Lagos, because his junior brother, his immediate junior brother is a Catholic priest. Oh, yes. His immediate senior sister is a Catholic nun. So when I, when I visited the brother, so we are preparing to go for mass in the morning. Before we go up, the necessary to the room of the room of the church. So it didn't it it start today. We went to put this. He first is not with your God. He has peace with his God. And you are listening to this great height. I know it's because of his relationship with God. So he's coming here. He's a big as the, the, the priest managing this place said that the gift you have given, your donation, we have learned so much from you. You know, because I'm a priest and because I'm a bishop, I do not know everything. I know that His Excellency is quite frugal with the expenditure. And he has taught me that. And I promise you, for this donation you have given, we shall look at any time, two times before we spend. By the time you come back, you have seen, you would have seen a lot of development better than you see today. And His Excellency promised me, when we were speaking privately, that when this 20 million is exhausted, that is going to come back. Yes, Excellency. I don't have any doubt. Yes, Excellency. I don't have any doubt at all in my mind that someday you will go down to this place as the president of Nigeria.
Thank you.